Playing opposite him was a rising young actress named Maggie Smith. She soon recognised his mastery of comic technique, and Williams became her teacher as well as her co-star. Ken, eventually one day in that awful office at the Queen's Theatre, said, "Look, Ducky, <laughs> awful day." He said, "You know, you're being absolutely boring." And sort of went through it sentence by sentence and said, "You must make it. You would never say a sentence like that. You just wouldn't." I mean, I was literally learning a speech and just saying it as a speech, thinking, "I、oh, have very clever. I've learned all the words." I'd never thought of colouring things as vividly as Kenneth does. Yes, it is immediacy in actual fact, which is the greatest kind of gift in comedy. Because the to make、uh, you know it's what you were saying earlier on about the challenge nightly with an audience to make it seem as though it is coming out for the first time. Yes, to make it also, seem that thoughts are occurring. Also, yes, absolutely, and that you surprise the audience an awful lot of the time. Kenneth's relationship with Maggie Smith was more than just professional. They were twin souls, I think, in that way. They were very alike in some ways, and they. I was always aware that they had this. What I can only call a kind of shining intimacy. <laughs> Would you say Kenneth had been a quite a big influence on you? An enormous、community? influence. I mean, I pinch from him all the time. Can you give us some examples? Well, in in black comedy, I'm doing a complete Kenneth. I mean, it's outrageous. <laughs> If he hadn't seen it, he'd be livid. This girl draws me like a magnet, and I am inextricably involved with her. It is a knot I will never want or be able to untie. Friends like me. When I first worked with Maggie Smith, we went to Fortnum and Mason, where she was after a particular kind of bra. A very grand assistant in Fortnum's, which was heavy carpeting, beautiful,、uh, very soft pile. You hardly heard as you entered. This woman said, "Yes, I have the particular bra, ma'am," and she said it was seven guineas. And, and Max said, "Seven guineas for a bra?" Cheaper to have your tits off. 